Welcome to Serenity. Today we're going to be exploring this incredibly realistic city core style island by our friend and subscriber Kim. If you're looking for inspiration on how you can transform your Animal Crossing New Horizons island into a stellar realistic city, this island is for you. I can't wait to share this. So many amazing and inspirational builds and player house designs for you all to see on this tour today. So join me for this tour. Can't wait to jump in and explore all of the city sites. You'll for sure feel like you've been transported into the big city. Let's spend the day together. Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. How are y'all doing today? I am so excited because today we are gonna be doing an amazing realistic city core style island tour for one of our friends and subscribers, Kim. You can find Kim on Instagram at ACNH underscore serenity. So please check her out. She has incredible design skills, you guys. Let's take a look at the map of serenity so that if you'd like to follow along on today's dream, you can. Here is the dream address. Guys, look at this. She has, let's see, one, two, three, four, six player houses on this island, all decorated differently to various themes of um, builds that she's done on the island. So many amazing, realistic um, faux building style builds, and I cannot wait to share this with you. She has tons of super cute villagers. It looks like most of them are actually wolves, um, with the exception of Jacques. So really excited to share that because I do believe she has redecorated the interiors for the villager houses. So we'll be sure to explore as many of those as we can. This is going to be a long tour. So relax, grab some coffee and your favorite fluffy blanket, and let's check it out. <gasps> Our friend, Kim. Hi. What's up? Oh my gosh, I love it. That's a total throwback. I totally adore that. Thank you so much, Kim, for inviting us to see your stellar island. I cannot wait to explore this city. I'm already getting vibes right away. Love this path design of the realistic road code as well. Um, yeah, I'm already seeing some really exceptional builds. So without further delay, let's head into this because like I said, this is going to be a little bit longer tour today, but it's totally going to be worth it. So like I said, if you're looking for inspo, yes, it's on the way. <gasps> what is this? Oh, is this like a radio station? Stop. This is super cute. I love this. Look how she's used the electric guitar and some of the headphones, but she's also has this cute little on air sign. This might be like a record recording studio. I'm not really sure which, but either way, this is an incredibly stellar idea. I love how she's created the look of a faux building using the wide display cases turned sideways, and I'm sure this looks incredibly stellar at night. I'll lit up as well. Let's head up here. Ooh, look at this lookout, guys. <gasps> be still, my heart. Is that a Starbucks? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all have been watching the channel for a while, I love coffee. Starbucks is for sure my favorite type of coffee. And yes, I cannot even, I totally adore this. By the way, speaking of coffee, I have actually set up a buy me a coffee link and I will be sure to list that in the description of the video. So if y'all are feeling like buying me a coffee and supporting the channel in that way, it really truly does mean the world to me. But by no means feel obligated just wanted to point that out since we have a stellar starbucks building right here wow look at this view you guys check out this look at the little pawn shop and we have a nice little view of it looks like flix tattoo parlor i love this type of build when you can kind of see it from a distance and all of these faux buildings that I, I feel like have been created by our Animal Crossing community are just really second to none. I mean, the creativity that we all have in this game never ceases to amaze me. It's one of those things that I feel like as soon as you think you've seen it all, there's always something new coming around the corner, whether it be through a custom design code that someone has created or just the way that a person has placed furniture on an island. It's just, it's really wonderful. And I do believe that that's the reason why this game continues to be as popular as it does because of the creativity in our community. What's this little place? <gasps> a bike rental? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Look at this little bike rental shop with the helmets and the bike, the biking map there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see in the window that is so precious i totally love that oh my goodness yes 10 out of 10 for sure i love the vibes in this city oh my goodness and i do believe kim has been working on some new builds on this island as well this dream i think was uploaded a little bit ago and i know since then she's had some incredibly um stellar new builds in the works on this island so if you check out her instagram page you'll probably get a sneak peek of that but i'm hopeful to be able to feature some of those newer builds in the next ideas video once i get it all put together for you guys but yeah really excited to see this okay here's a close-up of the starbucks she has the cute little shopping bag with the Starbucks logo on it. 
Yes, I think we all probably spend way too much of our hard-earned money at Starbucks. For real. See if I can get a better view for you guys. I do need to get the camera out, I think, to try to get a better view of these cute little buildings. I love the idea of sort of creating this little shopping complex, and she has the tattoo parlor right next door to the pawn shop. Maybe you have to pawn your stuff to afford the tattoo in this city. I don't really know. I'm sure that's probably a thing, right? Any of the villagers, like Octavian, if he happened to live here, he could probably pawn off some, some goods at the pawn shop and then maybe get the tattoo. <laughs> All right, let's check out our beach. I think the beaches are minimalistic, which is really nice because I feel like beaches can be a lot of work and just keeping it simple can be a really nice touch, especially if you have so many stellar builds on your main island. It looks really great. Okay, let's head in this direction. I'm actually surprised we saw Kim so early in the dream. I feel like oftentimes it's a struggle to even find our player when we're visiting you guys' island, but I'm really excited we were able to see her so quickly. Is this a little plant shop very cute i love this i really like the use of that um what's it called a soccer field sign um field sign i think is what it's called this little horizontal sign with the flower logo on it that's really cute it's really nice that, that nintendo gave us so many really wonderful in-game patterns to be able to use that are defaulted on the items themselves it really helps kind of keep up on some of the custom design slots we have we have a little barber shop. That's really cute too. I love that. I love the effect that she's created with all of these faux buildings. You can see that some of these are fairly simple as far as she's she's not using a ton of different items. She's just very strategically and carefully placed them. And it is so convincingly real. <gasps> it's an Aldi's, you guys. I don't even think I have a quarter on me to put in the cart <laughs> to get a cart to go shopping. This is very, very cute. I love this idea. You can see the produce car in the background unloading all of the new supplies coming in for the week. A little abandoned shopping cart right here. <laughs> Ooh, I love that she's included these villager houses in these builds. I had so much fun. If you're newer to the channel, we actually did a Realistic City series on the channel here. We did a an overhaul of Honey Bell, which was Honey Bell 2.0. It was a Realistic City style island. And one of the best things I loved about doing that island was incorporating a lot of the villager houses and renovating the interiors um, in the exterior builds. And I love that she's done a ton of that on her island too. Is this a little fishing, fishing bait store? This is so cute. Check out the Nook and Go sign, you guys. It's kind of giving me like low-key Pokemon vibes. I really love that. This is so cute. And what a great idea to use this piece of land right next to the beach entrance to kind of create a bait and tackle store. It's a really great transition um, to kind of bring you over to this peninsula. Look at this. I was really kind of wondering like... When I saw the lighthouse in the distance, how she would incorporate the lighthouse into the city, the city theme of the island. And I think she's done a stellar job using kind of the dilapidated, rusted um, metal partitions around it. It just looks super perfect. I love it. We have a little bit of construction going on. Who's this? The mall is my fave spot, Lewis. So this must be one of her secondary players. I'm assuming that Lewis lives at the mall. We'll, we'll for sure have to check that out. Like I said, lots of amazing designs that she has interior for her different houses too. So this, this will for sure be a longer tour, but we want to see the interiors because y'all, they're amazing. I've seen pictures. In her museum, I love that she's sort of done this like overhaul and under construction vibe going on with the museum. It's a very creative way to do something different with that. Crime is no bueno. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. I agree. That must be the chief of police. And I do know that one of her player houses is actually a police station that she set up. And yeah, I'm, I love that we're getting all kinds of amazing clues on what's to come on the tour as we're sort of running into these other players on the island. What is this? This is... Oh, is this like an emergency room or hospital? I guess I probably shouldn't seem so excited about that. <laughs> I shouldn't sound so excited about the hospital being here, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like, check this out. She's used one of the trucks and used a custom design code to look like an ambulance. Yes, this is so well done. I love the color scheme. It's different than your typical hospital. And I think, I think we're in for a real treat. So let's pop in the house here in a second and kind of check out how she's redone the interior of this house to sort of coordinate with the interior of her hospital. So let's pop in and see how the first, the player house looks. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a waiting room. 
who's this poor fellow? Oh, he's under the weather and he's waiting for help. You poor fellow. He's got his little pharmacy bag over here with his medication prescription that he's picking up. This is so cute. How cute is the way that she's done this hospital lobby? This is so cute. I love that she's used the public the public seats over there. She has an ATM machine, a little water container, and a vending machine in case you need a snack. I don't know. Poor people. Maybe they're getting a little hypoglycemic or hangry while they're waiting for their appointment. But this is really cute. I love how she has thoughtfully created this first room of this house into a hospital um, lobby. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, is this like an exam room? Yeah, this is what this is. An exam room. Look how cute this is. I really am so excited, honestly, that Nintendo gave us a lot of these hospital type of items and a lot of the different business furniture that came along with the 2.0 update. I know that it's been a minute since we got that update, but how cute is this? She has the, the, the curtain partition over here for privacy, the little EKG machine, and the hand washing station to make sure everything's all good to go, and the little x-rays on the, on the desk over here. Yes, this is really, really cute. I love this. I'm excited to see what the other rooms of the house look like. What's this area? <gasps> is this an eye doctor? Oh my gosh, check this out, you guys. She has a little eye chart on the wall over there and all the glasses. <laughs> that is genius. I love this idea. Seriously, Kim, this is so genius. I I totally love this. My son um, has glasses. He has since he was tiny and... Be still my heart. My heart is just, I hold a place in my heart for kids and glasses. And this is just so precious. I love this, how she's created this space with the glasses on the wall and the little eye chart with the, with the telescope, the tourist telescope. That is just genius. I really love it. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, the dental office. Look at this. That's very creative. She used that same item as in the exam room for the hospital, but she actually changed it and customized it so that it had the the teeth x-ray, the mouth x-ray, and the chair. Okay, guys, buckle up. It's time to get in a, a checkup. <laughs> we need to get a, a thorough cleaning, and hopefully there's no cavities. I'm hopeful. I do brush frequently, so we're probably good to go, I hope. <laughs> Very cute. All right, this is the basement. Let's see what's down here. Oh, oh, is this the morgue? <laughs> Did we find the morgue? Oh, gosh. What happened to this poor man? Oh gosh, I hope everything went well. This doesn't look real good. <laughs> There's like a scale. Why is there a scale? I think we've walked into an autopsy, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. Like, what a great idea, though. She's done such a great job staging this. There's a computer for all their findings. And this is presumably maybe a break room where the doctors um, and technicians can come hang out and take a little break. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. That is that is really well done <laughs> in the cleanup bucket. All right, let's check upstairs here. This looks like maybe um, a surgery room. If I had to guess, I love that she's incorporated the machine arm over here. This is a really great item. I feel like I haven't had the best opportunity to use it yet on any of my islands, but I love how she's incorporated this. It's perfect for this medical type of setting. She has a little like surgery recovery room over here with the IV bag and the flowers in the little stretcher in the hallway. Yeah, so well done. Kim, A plus, this was amazing. I love your creativity on that build. That is just so cute. Really well done and thoughtful. I love that you took one of the player houses and completely and utterly devoted the entire house to one particular theme. And if this is any indication of how the other houses are gonna look, I am even more excited than I was when I started this tour because that is super stellar, like super amazing. Wow. <laughs> Let's head up here and see what's up here. I think this is a little subway station. Look at this. The train tracks. That is so cute. And the little route with the drop ticket. What a great way to sort of incorporate a little overlook as well. And there's a player house, which we'll have to go check out in a minute. But before we do, I want to check this out. Look at this. Y'all, it's a fire station. And I completely adore this because Kim... I feel so honored, truly. One of my goals when I started this channel was to inspire others in the game, come up with ideas, share creativity within the community, and just bring about all the positive vibes. And Kim shared with me that she was so inspired by my fire station build that she wanted to create one of her own. And it really just means so much to me, and it makes me so happy 
that you that you would use that design on your island. It, it's really amazing. I love it. <laughs> I really, really love it. Check out how she has created this tunnel effect over here with some of these transportation partitions over here. She has a curtain partition and some of the retro transportation stations. I love that. She sort of sandwiched them together to create the look of a tunnel right here with the railroad track going into it. It looks really, really good. I love it. Really love it. <laughs> we'll have to pop down and see this cute little post office in a minute. I don't want to miss anything. So we're going to head back by the fire station. And we're going to head in this player house because I believe this is a subway station. Check this out. If this doesn't have creep factor 10, I mean, come on. I love it. Look at the, the smashed out windows. It gives it sort of that dilapidated vibe <laughs> for an inner city, like scary subway moment. She has the cute little map right here. And yeah, I can't wait to see how she's decorated this house because this design is just super amazing. It really does look like an extension on the player house. Truthfully, she's done a really great job sort of encasing the house in this build, which can be really hard to do. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this looks so realistic. Y'all, I am speechless. This looks so realistic. Look at this. And it's the same poor lost fellow. <laughs> I feel like this poor little fellow is like everywhere we go. Excuse me, sir. Are you lost? Do you need some assistance? <laughs> oh, he's trying to find the right route. <laughs> I love that she has those menus um, from the ceiling. It's a ceiling item using those menus as sort of like all of the destination um, routes that you can take on the subway as well as this conveyor belt with the suitcase. I really love that rover item. It's probably one of my favorite cute little attainable items when you interact with some of the seasonal NPCs and she's done such a nice job with that. Now let's check out the next room. <gasps> Stop it right now. This is one of my favorites. This is insane. This is insanely cool. Check this out, you guys. She's used the back room of this house to look like the train car. And how realistic is this? You guys, this is genius. I love this. She even has like the electricity com coming out of the, um, the engine room over here. She's got this amazing wallpaper. I think it's called the subway or train wallpaper. I can't remember which one, but I love this. She has perfectly placed this accent wall on this side where people can hang their bikes, the little bike rack and the route, of course, and some magazines and a radio while you're taking your commute. You can kind of chill and relax. This little fellow over here is on his way to work, presumably, <laughs> to spend a day in the big city. Oh my gosh, and the cranky gyroid. Yes, it's perfect. The cranky passenger. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. It's a stanky bathroom. <laughs> Look at the smell. The stench coming off of this. Oh my gosh. Look at this back stall over here. Ew, what is that? <laughs> What happened on the floor over there? I love that so much. That is so genius. She has all of the sinks and the mirrors. I love the idea that she has where she's created these stalls. It really, even with the cobweb, you guys, I mean, this is chef's kiss perfect. I love it. It's amazing. I have no words. <laughs> okay, let's check out the basement. Oh, this is like sort of like, the en well, I guess this is technically like the engine room, maybe like where the gears and all the repairs would happen. It's really spooky down here. I love that she's used the cloud flooring and then placed these stone rugs over top of them in some of this custom design. She's really created just this really spooky space. I mean, I'm convinced that Freddy Krueger is about to jump out of the boiler room over here. <laughs> it's really creepy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's check out the upstairs. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. This is next level genius. Y'all, if you are looking for a way to kind of totally transform the inside of your player house, look at how genius this is. She's used one of the castle gates and then she's used an accent wall on this side with the pouring down rain wallpaper. I really love all of the animated wallpapers in this game. They really do take all of the design and ideas. It just totally kicks everything up a notch and this is stellar. Like, I really, really do believe that I'm in a subway. This is amazing. What a genius idea. It's super creative. Definitely not anything I've ever seen before in the Animal Crossing community. And I'm I'm completely wowed by this. This is just amazing. She's got her little ticket machines over here. And I love that she's polished some of the details on these items to sort of create the look of the electricity. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is 
This is perfect. I love it. She's even used that same train custom design pattern as floor tiles over on the other side to sort of separate everything with the subway flooring. This is amazing. Yes, A+. Plus. I love it. <laughs> We're going to scooch back here so that we don't ride illegally. Let's head downstairs. We're going to head outside because there's so much more of this island to explore. I mean, we've been exploring for 20 minutes and it feels like no time at all. And there's so much more to see. Kim, I'm speechless. Like, you, you were an, just an incredibly talented designer, and this realistic city is just on point. Like, I have no, no other words than to just say that this is completely and utterly so creative and on point, and I can't wait to see the other houses as we go along on this island. And her campsite, I love this. She has one tiny little patch of nature over here, which fits perfectly for the campsite. I know that's something I really, really struggled with when I was creating Honeybell 2.0. I really didn't know how to incorporate the campsite naturally and she's done a perfect job of this um, we actually on Honeybell we ended up turning it into a sporting goods store and making it sort of a part of that but I love that she's reserved this small little patch of her island for this campsite she has a little fishing dock going on over here with some bait yeah it's perfect I love it <laughs> it's fantastic really really clever all right we're gonna head over in this direction Oh, this is the mall. Oh, this is that other player's house that he was beckoning us to earlier. <laughs> we'll for sure have to go in there for a second, but let's check everything out down here before we go inside that house. Look how she's cleverly used these electric signs, the electric standing sign with all of the different custom designs. Well, they're not custom designs. They're the in-game designs that she's sort of lined up side by side. It's, it's perfect. What a really creative idea. We have some more faux buildings over here. Let's see. Oh, an ice cream parlor. That's cute. I love how she really has just created the look of these storefronts. They really do look realistic. I mean, honestly, look at the, the surf shop and the magic shop. It's like a little hobby shop with the magic with the magic toys. Oh my gosh. And the bubbles are such an incredible touch. Like what a thoughtful touch to put the bubble machine over here by the surf shop very very cute I love that so much it's just genius I really love it what a great idea it's it really does give you the appearance appearance that this is a place you can go in and go shopping and then head out to the beach and spend the day on the boardwalk and on the beach oh my gosh this is amazing we have some Jersey Shore vibes going on over here we've got the boardwalk heading over to the dock <laughs> and of course if we were here in person Captain would be waiting for us which is fantastic I love that Love all of the different ideas you guys have thrown out there for your docs. In fact, maybe we'll do an ideas video for that coming up here in the next month or so. I've sort of been making a list of ideas of what we could do for ideas videos. So if there is an idea, an ideas video, that sounds redundant. If you would, if you have ideas for what you would like to see for the next ideas video, <laughs> drop a comment and let me know. If, you're, if you have a specific area on your island that you're struggling to come up with ideas for, let me know because I am kind of putting together some designs of you guys that I've seen as I've been visiting your dreams and I would really like to showcase more of your builds your individual builds so if you have certain areas for what you'd like to see for an ideas video let me know in the comments all right let's go inside this mall house because I'm interested to see how she did this oh my gosh it's awesome it's like the star mall court love 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 i love this look there's a little in that same guy y'all that poor guy he is lost everywhere he goes oh my gosh the poor fellow he's just always lost <laughs> do you know where you are sir you're at the mall oh my goodness i love this she has kind of like advertised using this skateboard wall over here that there's more shops in that direction really well done let's go in this first room over here <gasps> Ooh, an electronic store. I don't think I've ever seen this either. This is genius. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like a nod at the Apple store, maybe a Best Buy. I mean, it's a little small for a Best Buy, but it's sort of putting out those vibes like it's maybe like an Apple store. Yes, I totally love this. Maybe even like a GameStop. No, not a GameStop because there's Nintendo stuff. But yes, I really, really love that. So well done. Let's go in the next room, see what's over here. 
A sporting goods store. This is so cute. I love that she incorporated the basketball hoop over here too. The way that she uses a lot of the wall partitions and columns is so incredibly genius and smart. Really love that. It for sure differentiates the layout of the different rooms in her player houses because guys, I struggle with just one player house. I really have a hard time with just one and she's done such an incredible job setting up all of these player houses. They're just really, really thoughtful. All right, let's head downstairs and check out the, the basement before we head upstairs. Ooh, this is very, very tray chic. I love this. This is sort of like maybe a um, fashion, like a menswear store. Oh my goodness. I love this. Oh, there's costumes on the other wall too for Halloween. <laughs> I love that. A little cash register area here and some of the clothes hanging behind there with the sign. I really love how she set this up and the little dressing room. <laughs> Y'all look at the dressing room. This is so cute. She has the mirror and the clothes inside the dressing room. That is so smart. I love that. Oh my goodness. That has got to be the roomiest dressing room I've ever seen. I really have tried to create dressing rooms before like on Happy Home Paradise when we have to do the apparel shop and hers is like really, really stellar. All right, let's head upstairs. Oh, a food court. Yes, every mall needs a food court, right? We have a little Starbucks stand over here and what is this one? Just food. It looks like maybe like a little cafe. You can get a hot dog and some popcorn and then an ice cream shop. I love this. Just super well done. Oh my goodness. Very, very cute. And there's our fellow picking out some food. He just, he can never decide. He can't decide what he wants. He doesn't know where he is. The poor fellow. <laughs> wow. Really well done, Kim. This is, this is amazing. I love it. I'm having a blast. I literally could spend all day here. Like if you're looking for something to do on a Saturday afternoon, please come visit this island in person because we're going to scour every square inch of this island. But seeing it in person is Oh my gosh, yes. Look at her able sisters. I, I wanted to check these out real quick before we kind of continue on on the tour. I know that I know that I'm going a little bit fast in some of these spaces, but I just really want to make sure that we can see everything on this on this area real quick here. <gasps> Ooh, I love the truck unloading things in the dropped papers. Oh my goodness, yes, love this. And she's kind of got this beach area blocked off, so let's head back in this direction. I think there's another player house back here. Oh, there is. This is the police station. The sirens, you guys. I love the chaos. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. I really honestly, like, I wish, wish, wish that we had the ability when we amiibo in NPCs. You could totally have Booker on your island. I wish there was a way that we could do them, do it where they would actually be on your island and you could maybe create a house for them. Um, just like you can the villagers. I think that would be an incredible upgrade. If we, if we had a wish list of what we could have for the next Animal Crossing game, I think it'd be really great to have NPCs living on your island that you could actually amiibo them in to live there. Oh my gosh. And he's here again. He's making a report. He's filing a report about someone, you guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't even. He's just always here. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? She's got a little... Um, what is that? That's one of the donation boxes. We're going to squeeze back here, though, because I don't want to miss this room. We'll check out the back room and then we'll... Oh, look at She even has one of the little NPC pictures on the wall. Is that copper? I think that one's copper. Oh, a break room. Look at this. The little happy birthday. Oh, my gosh. There's always cake in the office, right? I mean, that's sort of just how it is. I really love this. This is cute. Simple, cute. I love the confetti floor. Yeah, really well done. All right, let's check out the next room. Oh, oh, someone has done something really bad. <laughs> They're doing time. I wonder how long they're in here for. Like, that's a really great idea to use the orange jumpsuit. I think it's the work suit. It looks perfect. I wonder what they did. You guys want to take any guesses as to what they're in for? I'm not really sure, but it looks like they're not going to be just here for a short stay if they're in the orange jumpsuit. <laughs> You can see she has the little um, height thing over here for if you're taking your picture, your booking photo. Yeah, really smart. I love it. All right, let's check out this room. Ooh, what is this? Let's see. Whoops. <laughs> oh, this looks like this might be like the evidence room, right? I'm thinking it's the evidence room. Look at how she has the gold bars over here and the bells. All the safes. This has to be the evidence room. 
Yeah, totally. I love this. <laughs> Look at all that money. We better lock that away. Someone might steal that. That is worth so many bells, for real. In the game, that, that particular item is so expensive. It's for sure extra. It's right up there with the, with the royal crown. Oh my gosh, really well done. Another amazing house. I love that she has sort of created the space for each of these player homes to be their own space. Um, I know in some of my islands, I've created interactive spaces and I have used each room of the house to be different areas. I did that on the farm core island, Sugar Bell. We did a winery and a barber shop and an antique shop, all of those things, and then utilized the player house for the interiors. But I love that she's dedicated a whole house to each of those spaces. It really gives her the ability to do more in-depth designs in this post office, though. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. Love, love, love. All right, let's head in this direction. I'm getting a little lost, so bear with me. We might have to backtrack a little bit to get to the next place on the tour here today. We'll go in this direction. Oh, there's our little fire station. That is so cute. What is this mysterious place? This looks kind of scary. Open. Hmm. Looks a little shady. I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe a laundromat just by the, the um, vibes of the clothing line right there. Maybe. Maybe we'll have to go check that out. Let's head in this direction because I do see the villager neighborhood over here. I think this is um, the first villager house we're popping into. So let's check out who lives here. Vivian, hi. How cute is she? I love her. So my family has a German shepherd. Her name's Myla. She's super cute. And every time I see Vivian, I think of Myla because... I think she's supposed to be a German Shepherd. I'm pretty sure. I don't think she's a Husky, but either way, she's super posh. Love her outfit. She's very fancy. I love how Kim has separated out the room over here where she has the bed and the mirror, and then she has her own little zen area with her yoga mat and her candles. Her Serenity by Jan candles. <laughs> I don't know why that's like what I picture, but let's, let's test this out. Oh, whoops. I did it the wrong way. I should have turned the other direction. Love the vibe in here. This is really great. Vivian, your place is stellar. I guess I should have said hi. I'm always really bad about that, guys. Sorry, Vivian. <laughs> All right, let's head over here. There's a few more houses, and I want to get into a couple of them before we head to the back side of the island because, like I said, so much more island to see on this tour. I hope you all are enjoying this. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. I cannot believe this week flew by for me, and it's just really kind of nice to relax and check out some new islands and yeah right, let's pop in here and see who lives here Jacques what are you doing buddy there might be some some interesting activity and happenings going on in this house oh oh my gosh okay that that confirms it um yes our friend is green friendly <laughs> Jacques, are you green friendly? I'm pretty sure you are, buddy, because that thing you're hiding in your bedroom, we all know that that is not really for coffee. <laughs> oh, look at his grow operation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, you guys, check this out. This is so cute. I love this. I think he's doing some... I'm do He's doing some things in here just based on the items like the scale and these plants. I love that she has used the glowing moss shelf over here. This is so hilarious. Like, buddy, you better hope you don't get raided because you are going away for a while. You know that police station we saw earlier? Yeah, there's a cell that's open for you, my friend, if you get caught. So <laughs> keep it on the DL, my friend, okay? I won't say anything, but for sure keep it on the DL. <laughs> He sort of just gets to like Netflix and chill over here. <laughs> oh, she's dropped. The, she has literally dropped a bag of weeds over here. Like, oh my gosh, stop. This is hilarious. I love this. I needed this today. I needed a really good laugh. And that is amazing. I love it. Yes, that is great. That's my favorite villager house. I know we haven't seen very many yet, but yes, we need a breath of fresh air because it was, <laughs> that was an atmosphere going on in there. Get some fresh air in our lungs before we move on to the next the next house and build. All right, let's pop down here. This is a little beach area. She has a little vending space. I think she's kept her beaches pretty natural, which is totally understandable because 
Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to take a little quick peek. She's got a lighthouse back here and a little, um, little hangout area. Yeah, I like that. That's great. Sometimes it's nice to just keep it simple on the beaches. All right, let's look over here. We're going to backtrack a little bit. There's a basketball court over here. I apologize. I am going a little bit fast because my goal is to keep this tour just under an hour. I think we can get through it in an hour, and I don't want to miss anything, but I want you guys to see all of this island because it's, yeah, it's amazing. I hope y'all are enjoying this. I really am. I'm having a complete blast. <laughs> Might have to go hang out with Jacques after this <laughs> once this is, like, over. All right, another villager house. Oh, we have a little yard sale. That's very cute. I love that. I've seen some people do that on their kid core islands, and I think it's a really great idea. I love that she sort of set out like some of these little tchotchkes over here, a yard sale sign, an old, very outdated TV with video VCR combo. Like that's just cliche. I love that. That's for sure something you would see for sale at a yard sale. I've actually sort of, um, for fun, like my family and I sometimes will watch YouTube videos of the people that go out doing yard sales and they kind of wear like a GoPro when they're exploring and finding things to buy. And it's really quite entertaining, you guys. If you haven't seen anything like that, I don't know. I just, I, I think maybe because when we were all in lockdown and we kind of couldn't go anywhere for a while, I think there's this new human fascination with being able to just sort of go out through others eyes without actually having to go out and I think that's why it's so inviting but it's been really fun kind of watching some of those videos and seeing what people are selling at these random yard sales across the country. Freya, hi! I love her so much. Very cute. Bye Freya! Alright, let's head in this direction because I think I want to try let's see. Oh, our friend is back again. Jorge, oh, this is a different fellow. What's your fave movie? Hmm, I don't know, Jorge. Let me think about this for a second. I like all the classics. I really like um, Clueless. Don't judge me, that's like a real major throwback. As far as that goes, The Notebook is probably my favorite romantic movie. Really love The Notebook. There's a lot of really fantastic movies out there. I like all kinds. I like the scary movies during Halloween. I love a good holiday movie. Yes, really, really stellar look at this oh my gosh it's chief oh this is so cute he has a secret crush on audie chief i promise i won't tell that is just the cutest thing i've ever seen he's got the little hearts she polished the hearts on audie's picture that is so cute his secret crush oh buddy i won't tell i promise like because i totally wouldn't do that to you buddy i won't embarrass you but that is that is so cute <laughs> <laughs> all right let's check out let's see i don't know if there's any other villagers home maybe one or two more if not we will head towards the back of the island because we have a couple more player houses to explore and i think we're pretty much Ooh, oh okay so this is the laundromat so this is actually the roof of that building that we saw walking up the staircase and it is a laundromat we were right haha -ha. We were right, guys. Totally. Nailed it. <laughs> totally nailed it. I love it. Really, really cute how she set that up. I love that so much. I love the idea of doing outdoor builds that are like interior types of things. I just think it's super charming. Let's head in this direction. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Like a little pool lounge area? This is very cute. Look at this custom design code, you guys, with the steps. That is so well done. Like, that looks so real. It really looks like you could take a little dip in that pool. With the little pool ring floaty sitting on there, I just love this. Really well done. I love that she has sort of like the privacy curtains over here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you can lay down. Yes. Gotta get a pic of that. That is so cute. I love that idea. She's customized a towel item to be the same as the water. And if you place it down like that, it's sort of like a secret way that you can lay down. Take some cute pics. Lounge a little bit in the pool for the afternoon. Yeah, really, really cute. Another cute little construction zone area. There's a house over here, but I'm not really sure how to get to it yet. <gasps> okay, I see something very, very smart. If you guys are looking for a creative idea and you're doing a construction zone on your island, how smart is this? She has uploaded her dream on a day where Lloyd is hanging out here, putting in a staircase and incline that has not been 
fully built yet. That is so genius. I love that. What a great idea. That is just such a fantastic idea to kind of really incorporate into a construction zone on your island. I totally love that. That is so smart. Love, love, love. Such a great idea. Kim, you're so creative. Really, really creative, my friend. I love that. Okay, let's backtrack over here. I want to check out... Oh, what is this? A little, like, soccer field, maybe? <gasps> oh, I think this is a school, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. So if you guys are new to the channel, we actually... I just announced this week what our new theme is going to be on our next island. And I've, I've decided that I think it would be fun. I had a few of you ask me for kid core ideas and kid core builds and so I decided to do a kid core island for us on the channel we're going to be doing it sort of city style but we're going to do it sort of throwback like 90s um sort of vibes going on on the island just because I think all of us kids from the 90s really enjoy seeing things like that so we're going to do a kid core island city and town style with 90s vibes and a splash of Lisa Frank just to incorporate a lot of cute animals. We'll probably do a lot of the villager, the villagers themed after some of the Lisa Frank animals. <gasps> Look at this view. You guys, this view, this is so incredible. This skyline is like next level. I don't think I've, I mean, this is incredible. Look at this. She's incorporated simple panels and servers, but she's also added all kinds of other items from a distance. You can see that there's different record boxes. She's used scaffolding. She's used some of the stadium lights and even some TVs, it looks like. And I think off in the distance, that's even the rocket item off to the left. Like, it is so interesting to me that she created this with all of these items. It really, truly is an amazing cityscape build. She's got a little vehicle as a perspective back there using the pocket camp fan. Oh my gosh. Like, this is this is stellar. Okay, we're going to hop into the mystery pipe and see where it takes us. Why not, right? Oh, that's how you get to the house. Very clever. Okay, that's cool. So let's... Oh, I don't know if I can get through here. I'm, I'm a little stuck. Okay, let's go inside this house and see what we have going on. I wonder what this is. It was on the roof of that school building. Oh, it's the school. Perfect. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's like a little hallway with lockers. Yes, I love this. Look at the, the, the trophy case. It's all polished up and sparkling. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. There's a little administration office in the paper chains on the wall or on the ceiling. Yes, very cute. Let's check out this next room. This maybe looks like the principal's office or maybe like the teacher's lounge because it's extra fancy. I feel like it's more relaxing and there's a coffee machine. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> this is very cute. I love this. Very, very well done. I love, love, love. All right, let's keep going because I, I feel bad. I'm not trying to rush too much, but I want to make sure we see everything. Oh, a library. It's the library. I better talk quietly. I'll talk a little more quiet in this room because I don't want to get us in trouble. And if you notice, she's used the ATM machine. There's lots of books to check out. I think there's even a couple of little study cubbies over here. This looks really stellar. I love the clock. Love the use of the sign. Yes. Don't want to get in trouble, so let's head out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's go in the next room. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, the classroom. Very well done. I love that she has used this very small room of the house to create this classroom. She has a really great way of sort of using a lot of items in these smaller house rooms because I have a hard time with that. I feel like these smaller rooms in the house can be very cramped. They're really not much bigger than a villager house. They might be about the same size, actually, which makes it incredibly difficult. But yeah, that looks really great. All right, let's head downstairs. Stop. Is this the cafeteria? It is. Look at this cafeteria, you guys. I love this. She has the menu and the food over there where you can get in line after you pay and get your food over here. I love how she's sectioned this area off. I never would have thought to do that. She has the mop and bucket over here and the little food chart. Oh my gosh. This is so beyond precious. Kim, I might have to borrow, <laughs> like I might have to use this build as inspiration because I would like to do a school on my kid core island. And this is so well done. I love this lunchroom. This is so cute. 
I love how she's used the iron tables and are they folding tables? Maybe a combination of both. Either way, I love them. In the books, oh my gosh, and the dropped candy, so well done. All right, one more room. Let's head upstairs and see what she's done with the upstairs. Ooh, oh, this is like an art class. Well, I love this because art was one of my favorite classes in high school. I completely adored it. I was totally a teacher's assistant to my art teacher when I was a senior because I loved doing all kinds of drawing and painting. And this is so cute. I love that she has all of the different color charts over here and the boxes and the use of the shapes on the chalkboard. What's on this side? Oh, this is the music class. What a great idea to put the arts together. I love that. What a great idea. Got the saxophones and the record player. Yes, really, really love that. What a great idea to use this large room and sort of divide it into two different classrooms. Really, really well done. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. Wow. Okay, well, I think we might have one more house, and I actually see it there in the distance. Do you guys see that? I think that's the movie theater. I can't wait to see that. I might be most excited about this movie theater, to be honest. We'll cut through that cute little soccer field that she created. Very cute. And we're going to head over here. First, what is this? A little corner bookstore. Oh, I love that. That is very precious. I love that. I really love that sign design that they gave us on the game for the for the lit the illuminated sign that's really cute love this house okay check out how she's done this with the simple panels and yes love this I love that she kind of used the servers too right up there at the top um, next to the custom design movie and arcade sign I feel like it really does give the illusion that it's illuminated I feel like it's really hard to come up with creative ways sometimes to illuminate things and create lit signs that are bigger in the game and I really love that she used the servers to do that. That was really genius. All right, let's head inside. Oh, it's our friend. Our friend is back. Now he's at the movie theater and he can't decide which type of popcorn and snack to buy. <laughs> Buddy, it's okay. Any choice you make will be good, I promise. <laughs> I'm there for you, bud. I'm there for you. Look at this. The little snack bar is so cute. Now, I don't know if we can get to that room back there, so... We'll have to go to the other side and see, but look how she's used the menus. I love that she's used the fast food wall over there. Whoops, I'm totally cutting. Let me let me just scooch by you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep, we can get back here, get our little friend a snack. What can I get for you, sir? Might I recommend the juji fruits and some popcorn? Definitely. Maybe some milk duds? <laughs> All right, let's check out this room in the back. Oh, this is where like the magic happens. So I'm guessing this is sort of like the control center room, like where they run all of the screens and projectors for the movies. Yeah, this is cute. This is one of the, the benefits, I guess, of using an entire player house for each of these builds. You really do have the creative space to be very detailed in your builds. I find that when I'm creating um, an interactive space with villager houses, you really have to be very intentional in what items you use to create those spaces because there's not a lot of room to work with. But using a an entire player house like this, you can see what incredible detail that Kim has created in all of these rooms because she has, you know, all of these houses pretty much upgraded. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love this. With the relaxing, cushiony seats. Oh my gosh, I love it. I really do love this movie screen that they have added in the game. I know that a lot of us have created outdoor builds for movie theaters as well in the game, but I really love how she's created this indoor version. I'm so relaxed, you guys. I feel like I could just spend the whole rest of the time here. Look at the little dropped lollipop and the candy. <laughs> so cute let's check out this room oh another theater so there's a different movie playing in here somebody dropped their their flaming hot cheetos and their chocolates on the floor <laughs> am i the only person in the world that puts chocolate in their their popcorn i feel like at some point when i was a kid one of my friends showed me that if you have like buttery salted popcorn and you dump your M&Ms in there, it is like the most delicious treat. So if y'all like salty sweet snacks, totally give it a try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I wasn't prepared for that. 
the basement. That is so funny. This is scary. I think we need to get out of here. <laughs> that was very unexpected, but really hilarious. I kind of love that. I wonder if that's a nod in the direction of the Mario movie that's going to be coming out here in the next month, maybe? I know that's something that a lot of us are super hot. No pun intended. Okay, pun intended. We're super excited about the Super Mario Brothers movie that's going to be coming out in April. I know I can't wait to see it at some point. Um, yeah, really excited about that. Look at this arcade. This is cute. I got to get back to the tour because I'm rambling on and on about movies. Love how she set this up. There's a whole other little snack area. Lots of... It's a really great way to be able to use all of the arcade games and the pinball machines. And of course... Um, it's not really a slot machine. I forget what it's called, but one of the pocket camp items. Really like that a lot. Wow, stellar. So well done, Kim. That was amazing. I love it. I love every single one of these houses, and I'm totally excited to see what you're going to be doing on your island since you've been in the process of overhauling some of these areas on it. But yes, amazing. A plus. Just like knocked it out of the park. <laughs> a thousand percent. All right, let's head back here because I think she does have her secret beach back here, which is really cute that she sort of created the construction zone. By the secret beach, we of course have a wanted sign for Red because he's shady. <laughs> We're gonna head over here. I think there's maybe a couple other faux builds over here for buildings that I wanna check out before we wrap up the tour for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. I have had a complete blast. I know I'm getting tons of inspo, inspo left and right. This is great. And yes, we've arrived. Look at this. Here's another view of this stellar skyline. This one's a little bit closer. Look at this, you guys. I mean, this is epic. She's used so many amazing items in this. She even has like the steam coming out the top of the building. If you can tell, she's used the brick oven very cleverly sideways behind that simple panel to create the look of the steam coming out of the top of the chimney of the building. She has used items like the, um, I think it's called the wooden stove, the wooden burning stove over there in the corner. You can see the chimney popping up behind that server back there to kind of create the look of a different style skyscraper, which is really great because I had a heck of a time. I created a skyline on Honeybell 2.0 and I had a hard time kind of creating different style buildings and she has executed this just amazingly. Like everything from using some of the bunk beds over there you can see to one of the diner signs in different colors like yeah I bet it looks stellar at night too I would actually really love to see a picture of that at night all right let's head over here oh we have a little shady little bar a swanky bar where you can hang out and have one or two too many and <laughs> maybe do some karaoke to polish off the night and this auto repair I really love this this is very cute I love the old tires Love the use of the broken down car and the tools. Like, it's genius. And I love that she's incorporated the OK Motor sign. Again, another pocket camp item. If you guys, I don't really play pocket camp, but there, there is a way that if you are, if you're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and you're newer to pocket camp, if you play up to a certain level on pocket camp, you should, I think, hopefully still be able to get a code that when you redeem it um, on Animal Crossing New Horizons, you can actually get some of these pocket camp items to get at the Nook Stop to order for yourself and catalog them. So it's really worth it. You don't really have to go too far, I don't think, on pocket camp because I, I just prefer New Horizons to pocket camp personally. But yeah, I really love the fact that we have those items. Another villager house back here. Oh, if you guys happen to dream here, please check out that house. I Just for time's sake today, I think we'll skip it. But look at this view. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. What a great idea. It's right on the back side of the island. Really, really lovely. Love how she's done this. Everything just looks very, like, urban and perfectly city core. We've got a little sandwich shop hidden over here and a beach. This is actually, I think, where the peninsula is. Let's check this out real quick. Love this. I love that fencing. The corrugated, I think it's called corrugated fencing. It just looks very urban. I love that. It's hard to create a space with a lighthouse that looks super urban, and she's done it perfectly. A little bit of trash core going on over here. Love this. I'm a huge fan of this. <laughs> oh, I love that she's used the bottles, too. The empty... Um, soda bottles over there in the shopping cart oh my gosh yes 
Totally love it. It's amazing. <laughs> what a great way to t sort of deck out that rock on the back side of the island in this industrial style area. Oh my gosh, so amazing. We're going to cut through here. I think we've seen pretty much everything on the tour, but I'm going to kind of meander our way back towards our beautiful lookout area because I wanted to kind of end the video by the skyscrapers and the skyline view. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I've had, like I said, a complete blast exploring this particular island. I think that um, Kim, your designs are very, very clever. This is amazing. You're so talented. And thank you so, so much for submitting your island and letting us come and visit the incredibly wonderful island of Serenity. I am so much looking forward to seeing what you have in store for the island. I know you've been overhauling it and working on some new builds. And I did get a sneak peek of them on Instagram. I can't wait to see what you're coming up with, but they look stellar. As I was saying, I hope that you guys will take some time to come and visit the island of Serenity yourselves. I hope that this tour has brought you some inspiration to take back to use on your city core island. I hope that these builds on this island of Serenity have brought you some inspiration for what you might be able to do on your islands. I'm very, very much looking forward to coming and seeing more of you guys' islands for more subscriber island tours in the next coming weeks. And please, please, please hop over to Instagram and tell Kim thank you for sharing her amazing island of Serenity with us. One more time, here's the map with the dream address for Serenity. I hope, like I said, that you will come and check it out in person because as much fun as this tour has been, y'all are in for a treat. If you come here and visit in person, you could literally spend the entire afternoon exploring this island and just getting even more inspiration from it. So really looking forward to sharing some more ideas, videos with you guys on the channel, as well as vamping up our kid core island. And just as a reminder, you can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I always love hearing from you guys. I really truly have the best subscribers in the world and it really does brighten my day to hear from y'all and I love bouncing around ideas for what you guys wanna see. If you have ideas on what you would like to see on the new kid core town and city island that we're creating with 90s vibes please leave a comment or message me on instagram once again if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing to the channel hit the like button and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll receive notifications when i put out new content i'm excited to do more builds on our kid core style island as well as villager hunts coming up and more subscriber island tours thanks again for watching you guys wishing y'all an amazing day take care and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.